Okay, Glass, record a video. Google Glass has finally gotten its long-awaited makeover. An FCC filing published Monday reveals Google Glass's reboot in precise detail and seems to, once and for all, put to rest the problems with Glass's controversial recording feature. So what's new about Google Glass, or GG1 as it's called in the user manual published with the FCC filing? The new Google Glass lacks a nose bridge, does not fully wrap around the user's face, and the assembly that holds the glass prism can fold down against the earpiece. It has a button and hinge system to attach the mini computer to different glasses. As the Wall Street Journal previously reported, the new glass is seemingly geared toward workplace productivity scenarios with a sturdier, more robust build. According to the manual, in order to record, the user has to press and hold the camera button and a green light shows when the camera is on. The initial version of Glass, which sold for $1,500, prompted a widespread privacy backlash because of the ability of the device to record in public places without others noticing. With the green light feature in the newer version, Google attempts to put Glass critics at ease. The new model also has a faster Intel processor, improved battery life, improved wireless connectivity, and supports 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi. Version 2 also comes with a battery pack developed specifically to connect to the gadget. And the cube-like glass prism used to display into users' field of vision is longer and thinner. It's important to remember that devices in the FCC filing may not resemble the final product. The government is only interested in radio frequencies, not aesthetics. And despite all of these changes, one image submitted with the filing does show a much more familiar looking version of the product.